Welcome back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. Last Hi time we did the Iron Whale and the stuff, the bonuses associated with it. So, I to... fought everyone. Like, literally everyone. We had, like, a boss marathon going on there. It's time for Mole Knight. Now Plague Knight's back in blue. Let's see. Okay, either I just don't remember Mole Knight's theme, or this is different. Uh, I think it's the same. Like, Spectre Knight remixes the soundtrack, but I don't think Plague Knight's campaign does. Right, this was kind of the one where they were kind of figuring out, okay, how do we do this differently? Yeah. Oh, I remember it now. Can you get it with the bait bomb? Oh, too late. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but... You're gonna be rich, Ken. You're already starting with 8,000 gold, assuming you don't die 50 times in a row. I mean, even then, I lose half the money. Yeah. Well, the amount lost is half that that it would be before, I should say. Right. I always end up using the gold armor, though. That fashion knight. Yeah. <laughs> Plague Knight gets extra prancy animations. Oh, so there was any time to see if... Well... <laughs> Never gonna find out if the bait bomb can get coin green coins, Ken. I'm only creative when I'm coming up with terrible strategies to fight super bosses. <laughs> I like how they, and by like I mean hate, brought back one of the most annoying enemies from the actual Mega Man games. The shields. Energy Falcons. Whatever they're... Captain Falcon. Are. Get a load of this! Oh, it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> a very different character. <laughs> One who should be at Smash either way. Get a load of, get a load of, get a load of, get a load of, get a load of. Get a load of this! That was the SA2 one, right? I think. Actually, I think it was like the first one. I remember it being like the big snake robot final boss in Sonic's campaign. Oh. For some reason I was thinking it was the Tails fights against him. Um. Hmm. Wait, there's a bonus! I'm gonna break the wall. It'll be tricky now. Should be able to pull it off with a bomb burst. Fair point. Especially if I save the second jump. Because I know, like, pretty much... I know the Sonic Adventure games in Shadow all had one line that he would repeat over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> maybe they, maybe it was all of them. <laughs> maybe he was always saying, get a, get a load of this. Uh... Moles in the mold night stage say it ain't so. How shocking. Scandals. That would probably come in handy here. I mean just having them ready. No, Good you're point. a risk kicker. Did they always turn around when you hit them? Uh, uh I think so. I think you only need like uh, 200 coins to unlock everything. Maybe a bit more, but I think we're pretty close to unlocking all the upgrades. For purchase, at least. Oh. Oh. 
For some reason, I thought that some of his money popped up here and it was inside the wall or something. Man, this is like a yacht club game. This isn't Skyrim. No, you can't. Darn. Well, for science. You monster. Uh... I think that just bomb bursting or double jumping is the way to go. Wait, does this upgrade increase the pickup range on the coins? It kind of felt like it did there. The armor? Yeah. Uh, it makes them come to you whenever they're floating. I don't know. <laughs> I like how that put me right here. Yep. Right where you left off. That's not what I actually wanted to do. But... You gotta be careful of flaming fish if you learn nothing from Star Fox 64. I mean, honestly, the little um, metal bit reminds me more of the drills from Metal Man stage. Well, I haven't played Mega Man, so... You really should, especially with the Legacy Collection being available. I've only played the one for the Game Boy, and that's because I thought it was the real one. Oh, right. Didn't, didn't both you and Silver only play Mega Man V? Uh... Oh, I played the one for the GameCube as well. Uh, trying to remember what was it? One of the RPGs? Battle, network oh, something. network transmission. Because there, scroller. there was surprisingly a Mega Man X RPG on the GameCube. Yeah, I think I remember hearing about that. I remember hearing that it was actually halfway decent too. Which I thought it was on the Game Boy Advance though. Uh. No, there's Command Mission, which is an X game, and then the Battle Network series is primarily GBA. Hmm. And then there's also the Zero games on GBA. Metroid, or Mega Man Zero Mission. I kind of feel like Mega Man was a disappointing character in Smash. Well, maybe it's just me. He didn't I mean, really feel like... He wasn't he was... a particularly good character to play as, but I did love how they included pretty much all of his major weapons. Even yeah, if... including him was good, but he wasn't very viable to play as. Maybe I mean, they could do, like... I'm sure he's good if you're, like, a high-level player. Yeah, if you know how to play him, I'm sure he seems like he'd be a good one, but for the most people, he'd probably not. Hey, it's the same time. line every time, and it's really disappointing. Smoke bomb. Stand in the clouds, becoming vulnerable even on spikes. Even la <clears throat> even lasts a couple seconds after you leave the cloud, so. Oh, so it's like you step in it to become invincible for a bit. That's actually really cool. Yeah, good for bosses. I avoided using the phase locket in most bosses, just because that thing was OP. Oh wait, there is one more wandering traveler we can fight. That guy with the sword. Guy with the He's like, arm the ultimate warrior, prove yourself, fool. Punk. Not Kratos, this isn't that version of the game. Uh, I mean like uh, Phantom Striker, I think he is. I would use the smoke bomb for that because you get a bigger reward and different dialogue if you don't take a lot of damage. He accuses you of cheating if you heal, so. Uh, I'm trying to remember, there was like. Oh, for some reason that reminded me of how Koopa the Quick yells at you for cheating if you use the cannon. <laughs> I forget Not if he teleports. Yeah, I was gonna say, I forget if he actually cares about the teleports, though. I think he only cares about, like, the... I think it's, like, ones? 
if you go into the, uh, I always forget that the flower one exists. I always use that one to just get the flower one, but... It's really remarkable just how replayable Mario 64 is. It's a good game. Did you unlock Waluigi in the DS version, though? Was that the Luigi rumor for that game? Yeah. <laughs> Someone on, like, DeviantArt or something made, like, a mock poster teasing at his existence. Oh. W is real. Yeah. Saying you had to do some specific oh, right. rabbit finding I stuff. This mechanic. You gotta get the green orb onto the end of the fire. I mean, you'll, you won't die. <laughs> or you could just use the bat. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there are some things that feel more like cheating than others. Like, I actually like oh, well. to use weapons in ways that seem like they weren't expected, as opposed to, oh, this looks like an obvious shortcut with this item. That's not what I wanted you to do, game. Physics, Ken. Physics. Ah, uh, yes. The physics of having thing of being inside, occupying the same space as another object. And then exploding. Those <laughs> physics exist. <laughs> Plot twist Plague Knight is secretly Gorn Freeman. Careful, these things explode. Here comes the tricky part. Well, in the next screen, I think. Uh. No! That's the wrong one, every time. Also, What's I like there to worry about? You got wall chicken right here. Oh, I didn't even notice my health bar. You were almost dead, Ken. Also, kill this guy already. <laughs> I also I almost do... didn't notice that, um... God. Ken, just throw bombs at him. Right, long fuse. I completely forgot about that. Oh. Duh. No. Oh. Maybe the one that just tosses them down? I think the sentry one might be. Did I just go destroy the blade? No. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> In which Ken tries his hardest to figure out how to kill this guy without doing all the work. Well, yeah, isn't that what life's about? Okay, that is not what I expected that weapon to do. There you go. I am getting this. This may not be the best room to use this. Eh. That is cool, but kind of mm, situational. That is a lot of money. Knight. Most of playing Knight's Arsenal was cool, but mostly situational. <laughs> Fair point. I stick to the short fuse, black bomb, the whole thing. I could have just gone the lower route, but I got greedy. At least it's just right here. Also, now that I think about it, that was the obvious strategy. It's not like Mega Man in that um, I'm pretty sure in Mega Man, like the top block of a ladder is solid. 
So, like, you can jump up to the top tile of the ladder, but not through it. <laughs> Mega Man has some weird design choices. They're good games, though. There's any time to keep the VAT available now. <laughs> Mega Man Powered Up is, like, the best example of a remake I can think of. They added a couple new bosses and voice at oh. Uh, this is fine. It's fitting that I say that in the fire level. But yeah, they added voice acting, which was of expected quality for Capcom. Chug some health potions. I don't think anyone expects top-notch voice acting from a Capcom game. I do, gee. <laughs> What am I fighting for? You gotta be kidding me. You're the demolitions expert. You're a day late. Don't just stand there. Start blasting. Hop to it. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not exactly here to help with your dig. But I'm certainly here for demolitions. <laughs> Boom. I should have known that we're just gonna clown around. I can't let that happen on my watch. Let's make this quick. <laughs> Did you end up getting all the coins? Uh, I forgot to check. Yeah. Congratulations. Man, it's just that one in Treasure Knights, the King Knights stage. Yeah. You can at least understand why I mix them up. I think either Mole Knight or Propeller Knight was the hardest for me as Plague Knight. He does like to go invincible, but I can do that too. Mm. Oh. This is something I forgot about. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because you're a fool, Ken. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, wow. That's a healing item. Oh, jeez. You're almost dead. Eh. Oh, well. What well, can? What about all the health potions you chugged? Oh, no. I almost... I lost 500 gold. How dangerous. <laughs> Danger-esque, even. Why did I do that twice? Ken, why are you even using the lob bomb for this fight? This is not a lob bomb fight. Because I'm too used to it. <laughs> Jeez, can. can you still hit the glowing ones back? I think so. God, You're I forgot sure. how much screen shake is in this fight. I forgot a lot of things about this level in general. You did it. Somehow. <laughs> so, while I have it, you here, can I just let everyone know you didn't even know there was a uh, Single player mode in Super Bomberman R. Uh, sure. When I mean, every... we didn't exactly advertise it. It's kind of a given with Bomberman, though. Bomberman is a multiplayer focused game. That insufferable moonlight escaping that smeltering last city had me dancing for joy. <laughs> <laughs> dancing? I can't even imagine what that looks like. Um, yeah, you see, preposterous, yes. <laughs> so what are we working on? Research. That doesn't change the fact that every Bomberman game has had a campaign, except for live. But this is a Super Bomberman game, and all of those had pretty lengthy campaigns. Well, gee, Ken, the last, war well, the last Bomberman game I played was Wario vs. Bomberman. Was... What? You never heard of that one? No. The crossover for the Game Boy, Wario vs. Bomberman. One of those two releases games. Huh. You can play as Wario or Bomberman, and it's basically the same game, but... Orbit casing. Oh, so it's, uh, any shield weapon from Mega Man? Basically. Cluster powder, 
shotgun bombs. Remote, oh, that could be very good, but very bad in my hands. Very situational. I mean, you've got a lot of money and nothing to really spend it on, so you might as well just get um, whatever you want. The only other thing to spend money on is the armor upgrades, and we already have all of those. Well, no we don't. I didn't buy them. I mean, available. So. I might as well just buy everything to have everything. It's not like there's a shortage of money in this game. Yeah. Especially with the optional boss fights. And you're out of money. <laughs> you can get more from the horse, though. Right. And Boz might be able to give you some health potions for free. If you're lucky. Hey, boss, I'll swipe these potions right from the magistrate's when she wants to look at You shouldn't have to pay for these, right? Here, take them. I mean, you're not wrong. For once. Uh, 1k. Okay, not bad. Not enough for the uh, for the upgrade, but it's something. All Just right. exploratorium left. And there are no roaming bosses. I think he showed the last one shows up in the third area. Oh, and. Dark Knight again. Let's get volatile. Ah, jeez, Plague Knight, uh, we really messed up. Is this a copy machine? You left us in charge and we failed you. Everything's gone haywire and there's an intruder afoot. Watch out. Oh, I'm gonna fight Shovel Knight, aren't I? Uh, who knows? See, you always either hesitate because I got it right on the first try, or because I'm very, very, very wrong. <laughs> and I've, I think I've gotten pretty good at telling which is which. I mean, it could be uh, the Enchantress or something. Isn't she still technically our boss? Uh, kinda? I mean... I don't think they would describe her as just an intruder anyway. I mean, you're fighting uh, all your co-workers, so I think you're, it's pretty much assumed you're fired. <laughs> but it's not set out right yet. <laughs> I'll be yeah, collecting my a, paycheck this, is, this campaign is equivalent to you going down to the office and just sort of beating up all your co-workers and taking samples of their blood. <laughs> I mean, isn't that a normal Friday afternoon for you? Yes. That's besides the point. And that's true, that only started after you left. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Uh. I found a pit by an exploding rat. Not the most graceful way to die. I mean, at least I didn't sustain a blow that at least one character was shown to have survived the equivalent of. <laughs> Are you still going on about that? That still bothers me. Oh, yeah, guys. Jeez, Ken. Like, and you're gonna be like, oh, no, they should have left Aerith dead. Whenever they uh, save her. No, the, the reason she died in the very end was so, like, oh, crap, we need a justification. Well, gee. Yuffie and uh, Vincent will still be optional characters. Um, Yuffie maybe because she actually doesn't have really any bearing on the main plot and she just kind of 
has, I'm pretty sure she just has a cameo in Crisis Core. Like, in one of the very first missions. Uh, she has a whole side block, side quest ride in that one. Oh, well. Uh, keep in mind, I didn't get very far in Crisis Core because I kept getting distracted by this, um, optional dungeon crawl missions. <laughs> which, honestly, were pretty freaking easy. I have some mixed feelings on what little I've played of Crisis Core. Slot machines! Why have invisible experience points? Slot machines. Wait, why is that guy attacking me? Uh, drunk on power. Why are any of these things attacking you, Ken? I mean, the rats are just exploding rats. But the other guys are actually my henchmen. But, uh... You should have gave me that vacation! <laughs> Either Vincent will no longer be optional, or the Lucretia thing will be told, like, somewhere in the main game? Now would be the time for the bat, I think. God, I forgot how trippy this background gets. Aesthetics, Ken. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Shovel Knight, what are you doing here? Five times. I also hope oh, that the retranslation will make some parts of the story a lot more clear on a first playthrough. <laughs> Hopefully. Because I was that... confused like five times on Cloud's backstory. He's a not clone of Sephiroth, who thought he was Zack. But did he, or. <laughs> the whole thing. Like, was he lying? Was he just... Eh. Who knows? And apparently things get even more odd the more games you get into the compilation. But well, I think that they... Anthology. They always knew, I think, that they were going to remake it as soon as they started doing the um, side games. So they just went, okay, you know what, let's just see what sticks. <laughs> oh, I need a checkpoint. One hit point away from dying. Give me your life force. But yeah. Seven is a very good game, but I think that it only really holds up if you grew up with it. Probably. Which, I mean, clearly I did not. Ken's too young to, to know the horrors of Final Fantasy. I still think that there is no bad Final Fantasy game. No, that why did I think that was a good idea? I said no. Why did I do that? I said no bad Final Fantasy game, right? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I think to think like I say something, but then think, wait, did I just say the opposite? Oh, the checkpoint was right there anyway. Never mind, I didn't need a checkpoint. I will say, certain items were way too annoying to farm in that game, though. Looking at you, hero drinks. Did you get your gold in Chocobo? Yes, and it was garbage. Rubbish. Did you use it to find the Chocobo god? Chocobo? Oh no, I already found the Chocobo sage with the airship. 
Here comes the tricky part. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could use the smoke bombs, you know. That is a fair point, but I don't. Does it protect me from being crushed? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're getting. Cr I don't think you're getting crushed. You think you're just getting wrapped in the head with spikes. You're not worth it. Darn. What are we getting this time? Uh, Staff of Surging. Rise into the air with a surging attack. Now you can Shoryuken. I was about to say, is this a Shoryuken? Wow. <laughs> it is. I can't say I was expecting Plague Knight to Shoryuken dudes, but... He's, he's, Does it one hit kill bosses is the real question. <laughs> I don't get less useful items, but I guess you can use it as a emergency jump if you had to. Speaking of emergency items. Please can. I didn't expect your home base to be the one that you struggle the most with. It wasn't. King Knight, man. I'm spending most of this level like half a step away from death, man. Yeah, but I didn't actually die 80 times. Alright, this is the part of the level where you don't want to attack blindly. And... Can you get that coin? Oh, coin? Bring the air. Jeez, Ken. Oh. And you can't get it. Ah, I mean, it's not that important. Because you have the vat now, so you can just jump on that if you had to. I'm slightly more comfortable with this. You technically don't even have to go up there. Oh, is there nothing up there? No. Just a way to get the page. Okay, mid boss. Once oh, again, man. why are you fighting me? Who are you? What are you doing, my lad? Why are you turning into Frankenstein? More like the Yeti. Uh, what is this guy? Even. What is this? I don't even. That's an old one. Wow. You killed him real fast. Well, I'm used to button mashing. I've played some Castle Crashers, man. I never got around to playing that one. Uh, it's a beat em up. I mean, most beat em like most beat em ups, you kind of need buddies to make the most of it. Fire! Get out of here! Stop hitting the sword! There are a lot less golden fish in this campaign, I'm noticing. Hmm. I think you can break that wall from left. Oh, that one. This is better money. Help. Oh, I can break this one to the right. I think so. Yep. That Moogle needed to stay away from me, man. Shut up, it's totally a Moogle. Sure, the exploding rabbit is definitely a Moogle. Moogle? That's a new one. Yeah. 
It's like new, because it's new girl. That's how all the hip kids say it, Ken. Good enough. Stop falling down a pit, Ken. What would happen if you had to show you can? I always forget that I have new sub weapons. You just stick to your fish bomb. I mean, it's what I grew up with, man. <laughs> it's my coming of age blade. It's my first lightsaber. You have oh. the type to keep the Buster Blade the whole game instead of selling it the first merchant you meet. You actually can't sell the Buster Sword, to my knowledge. It's actually marked as unsellable. Just like, I think, every initial weapon. Or at least the, the first three party members. I still stand by that Sid is the worst person in the party. And that's... Okay, second worst. The first Who's is... the first? Kite Sith. Oh, yeah. Catman. Like, not even as I find him being a mascot character annoying like a lot of people. He's just a terrible person. He's the Jar Jar Binks of Final Fantasy VII. Except Jar Jar is not a terrible person. Usually. Jar Jar is not an intentionally terrible person. <laughs> this is probably completely unnecessary. Yes. That's an exit. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even hate Kenny, Jar Jar. Are you ready to play as Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars Battlefront 2? Is he actually going to be playable? I don't know yet, but I mean, if he's not, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> like, that seems like the perfect joke character. Both because everyone will want to kill him. No one will play him. Like, I think, I saw a video and they Ooh. joked about, like, how he'll be excessively overpowered, but no one wants to play as him because he's Jar Jar Binks. I... I feel like it's a very tiny camp that does not care either way about Jar Jar. I don't really find him to be Sorry. too annoying, but I don't really find him funny. Well, kind of. Hey, There's a secret room to the right if you manage to make that jump. I understand that his... Oh. Get out of <laughs> Is that his bed? Yes. Rat on a treadmill. You can blow open his closet. Oh. Huh. Oh, is that the one that's not there? Wait. Why is one yellow? Uh, fancy occasions. I hear footsteps. Someone's near. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> Leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise it will be enlightening. The same boss dialogue from whenever you fought him in Shovel Knight's campaign. Yep. Oh, and he uses the sub weapons. Okay, this is actually really. Like, I always like fights where it's either the equivalent of the protagonist or the protagonist. Oh, oh and he, he. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the same exact mechanics, too. And it can reflect your bomb. That is... awesome, actually.
He's one of the trickier fights, but later on you get an item that lets you do contact damage. It's the easiest way to beat him, according to some people at least. Like, I love these protagonist fights, which I realize I just said a couple seconds ago. Yeah. Um, I it's swear there was one in the Mega Man series, but I forget. Not Proto Man. He is incredibly easy in every game. And now he's invincible. Why does he not run out of magic? Because his rules are not your rules. But... He's using the same rules I used. Rules of nature. Yeah, but he's also using abilities he shouldn't have yet. I did not notice that. This episode is being called Rules of Nature. Oh, oh, oh. Really? <laughs> Mutual. Yeah, you win. <laughs> See, those are his hell. Those are his money up there. And you're dead. <laughs> do 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 do. I should get away with their essence, huh? Haha, <laughs> sleeping like a blue baby. What, not gonna steal the chest? Okay. Uh, that chest does actually doesn't show up if you do play night before uh, being the last one. Oh, because it's after complete. Okay. That's. You got five essences. We're getting there. Let's relax and let the dynamo decanter do its thing. <laughs> but a watch pot never boils. Sure, but right now something else is coming. This step must takes concentration. We must drop the essence in. Why don't you come over here and help me unjam this lever? The pivot seems to be stuck. It'll take two people to wrench it free. Oh boy. <laughs> come closer. Don't be shy. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> it won't budge. Put your hand over mine. The forces of darkness reign no longer, for I, Percy, have fixed the power. How's it going? Set the nasty stuff lever. Need a hoof for that? No, you're good. Perla, I'll be in the other room doing science. Well, so much for that. Uh, where were we before? Oh, yeah. I had to stop by the Explodatorium to set my adult brain minions in order. And you'll never believe who was there, wrecking my lab. Um, Shovel Knight? Impossible. You read my mind. It's almost like she gave him a music sheet or something. I don't know. It's weird for my limited interaction with him. He just seems to love busting up blast. <laughs> oh, by the way, take a swig of this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help. Oh, what are we working on? How much does the last set of research cost? Eighty. All right. Oh, right. you can get the rest. Of... Oh, right. You get the rest of the upgrades for now. The one upgrade. Yeah. You got the pages to turn in. You got. You could get the gold armor, I think, after those pages, maybe. Uh. Get some potion from Boz, maybe, if you're lucky. Nope. No, no, no. Gold armor. Oh god. Her heart will be like uh, oh, the same it's... thing. Repulsion, I think that about wraps up uh, everything in the lab. Uh, should we do a, the bonus level this time? Or... Uh, there's like two bonus levels. Uh, three now. <laughs> Wait. Oh. God. Is that the backer level? Yeah, the backer museum. Ugh. Do we have to do it again? It's not the ghost. It's not the ghosts again. 
is it actually enjoyable this time? Uh, do you like fighting guards? Oh, it's just quickly do that. Yeah. Uh, I say... I mean, it gives you a lot of cash. So. Wandering stage, museum, and then next time do the gem stages. Sounds fair. As well as a main stage, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> this was a terrible decision. Good work, Ken. Should be able to buy the... Um, last armor, at least. Yep. God, I... I hate this I... section of Spectre Knight's stage, too. Ironically, the gold armor would have helped with this. Ugh. This isn't even just a single chest one, either, is it? Nope. You still gotta fight a giant skeleton. Just like my day job. There he is. I don't even know what I was going for with that one. Oh! Fat, fat, fat! I was equipped and everything. I think I was too late. Ken, you could have saved yourself there. Uh, wow. Uh, ten coins! Mm. Uh, actually, it's a hundred and ten. Uh oh. Good math. Well, there. <laughs> I'm moderately less irritated at that. Moderately. Well, I gotta go get dinner, so. Then, in that case, we'll do... You have fun fighting giant skeletons. We'll do the other three bonus levels next time, then. Adios. See you later, audience. Isn't that just unprofessional of him? Alright. Easiest mini. <sighs> Don't say anything. got a real kick out of that. I don't know why I'm acting so bitter. Okay, so next time on Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows, we have the Hall of Champions, the Bottomless Quarry, and the Shivering Sprint to take care of. And we might even get in a main stage. See you guys then.